What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be ranking every 99 first baseman in the game. That includes primary and secondary positions. So let's get right into it. First up, the new chase pack, Buck Leonard. Now this card is really good. I've been using him in the event and a little bit in ranked and he's been really good. Average contact of 112, um, 118 average power. Great, great fielding, good speed. Um, can fit the Kershaw boost, dead red. Oh, this card's so good. And he can play left too, which he, I feel like he's a better left fielder because, you know, he's got really good, you know, just really solid defense over there. 92 arm actually, 85 arm strength, which is, you know, in left field, don't really need the arm strength too, too much, but like 87 reaction is just a super good card. He is going to be our first S tier guy. Next up, we have Josh Gibson. I talked about him in the catcher one, but yeah. So good. Another S tier guy. Like this guy can do it all. Really good swing. Just just so good. Ernie, the new collection reward for the action figure series. <clears throat> um home body. Like got all the quirks you want. Um, you know, 120 average contact, 117.5 average power, good vision, great clutch. Um, great fielding. I feel like he's a better second, maybe a second baseman, third baseman. You know. Um, but you know, still a really solid card. Um, but yeah, put him in another, another S tier guy. This is he's so good. I'm not gonna go too in depth with some of these guys because we already know about some of them. But you know, um, Babe Ruth. Um, yeah, no, we'll just put him in S tier. You know, we know what Babe's getting. We've seen him all year. Uh, Tyler Fitzgerald, A tier guy. I talked about him in the last uh, monthly award ranking, I believe. Or this is the last ranking video we did. Yeah, this card's really good. You know, has a has some no quirks, but still really good card. Really fun, really solid. Rich Aurelio. I didn't know this card could play first base, like first, second, and third, from what I know. Um, but yeah, this card is another really, really solid card. Put him, put May. You know, just really good, really solid. Um, Chris Bryant. Um. Didn't really use this card when it came out, and I'm I'm all right with Chris Bryant cards. Not uh, I don't really use them ever, but we'll put them solid B tier. Rap Dixon, um, you know we talked about him. I don't think we, did we? Um, yeah, but compared the Carol Boost, um, 92 average power, 115 average, you know, contact. So he's just really solid card. Really. I think he, I think he definitely fits in this A tier. You could definitely use him. You know, I feel like he fits in a lot of other different positions a little bit better. But like it, you know, he's still going to be really good out there at first. Next up, Ryan Braun. Uh, we're talking about him in the act figure. Just just solid. Just put him in a solid B tier. Um, Rolabania, same thing. You know, I'm not another B tier guy. Like, there's no truly bad cards besides like you know some we'll get to later. Or but even then they're just kind of like eh, they're just mid, um, but yeah, just just really good cards. Um, don't think that you really like like use them and unless you're like on a team build or something like that. But like still, you know, there's nothing wrong with using the cards. It's all about who you do better with. I'm just kind of looking at these based on how I do with them, how they do on how they're gonna do on Hall of Fame, and you know just stuff like that. How they can do on the higher difficulties. Um, and personal preference a little bit to some of these, you know, just use your cards that you're better with, but you know, um, but yeah, Matt Holiday, A2, he's really good. I feel like he's a better DH. I feel like the fielding's not there. Matt Holiday, you're not going to, you really necessarily use him for your fielding, but you know, he, he's still like, he's a great card. Joe Mauer, S2, like I would, you know, put him at, I'd say he's a better catcher, but I mean, still like he is just, he's a really good card. Probably diamond defense over there at first base. I'm not too sure. I think either diamond or gold. But yeah, he's still going to be a really fun, really good card to use. <clears throat> now, the two new guys on this list are Devers and Vladdy. We'll get to Vladdy here in a minute. But Devers, we know all the good quirks, which he had dead red, but still, like, you know, like 119 average power, 118, 114 average contact. This card is an absolute stud. Building is a little bit lacking, so is the speed. But you not you not hit, you're not using Devers for that speed or his fielding. You're using him to hit some tank. Um, but yeah, this card's really, really good. Um, 
I'd say put him, I'd say first place is where definitely he fits, but I feel like he's a better DH. Um, but yeah, this card is really good. Easy, easy, easy as to. Vladdy, another another new guy. Not not the best quirks, you know, breaking ball hitter, you know, first pitch hitter. Um, but 120 one or 115 average power, 118 average contact, can fit some of these boosts. Um yeah, really good fielding. Um really, you know, really better than I thought they would give him, you know. Um a 64 speed, really good for Vladdy card. Um, but you know, I think he's still like same thing. Fits like a DH or you know, he definitely is a first baseman. Um, but because I feel like first base defense doesn't ma matter as much. Like I've seen like bronze make better plays than diamonds. So, but yeah, this card is an e easy, easy as to. Whit Merrifield, solid card. Another guy that's really solid, just solid B tier. Mm, Todd Helen, we most underrated player in, in my opinion. Um, such a good card, so fun to use. Um, really great swing. Um, just so good. Yo, use Todd. Use Todd. Easy as to. Gail to know. I did not. I never knew this card was released. It's probably like a headliner or something. Multiple pack cards we got. Um, but yeah, he's a good card. Just put him B two. Um. Well, I know what we're getting with Mega Elson no cards, it's nothing new. So he's gonna be in that solid B tier. Next up, David Fry. We talked about him in the catcher one. A tier. I mean, definitely use this card. But, you know, just better options, I feel. But like you see you good with. Tony Clark, another guy, like A tier, like you definitely use him. Just just, you know, we talked about him. Really good fits the Santana boost, which if you're gonna use that, like he's gonna be your primary first baseman. But yeah, just a really solid card, really fun. George Brad S tier. I mean, we know what we're getting with George Brad cards, but this card is really good. Probably a third baseman. I would use some in third base, you know, because he's got that better fielding. But you know, play him at first. I mean, it's not not the worst thing in the world, but you know, but he's just a really solid card. Really good. Uh, John Croc talked about him in the axe figure. He is good. Nothing too much to say about him. Jim Edmonds, another guy. Um, I would put him in A. I feel like he, but like I just feel like I feel like he's B just for the fact you know, you know since we got all these better cards out, like when he was released, he was in A tier because you know we needed some guys. But like this guy is solid B. He's just he's just solid. Nothing too crazy, but you know nothing bad. It's just kind of like right in the middle, not even mid. Just 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 good. Cepeda. Now I've liked this card more more since I started using them um, because I feel like you know some people don't use them because of the stance, but like his swing is actually really good. And so we'll put him in a solid B tier. Definitely feel like he could move up to A, but I feel like you know just there's just some guys that are better than him. So solid, solid B tier. Um, DJ. I'm never good with DJ cards. I'll be honest. Um, and I don't really like his swing. So just see, he's kind of mid. Still usable, but just not for me. Ben Miller, um, A tier. I just feel like there were better options, you know, because we got the Todds, the the Bucks, you know, all these guys. Just, but he's still, you know, you can use him like a raised team build, or you know, even if you want to use him as your first base, I feel like you know, he's, he's still going to play good for you guys. You know, it's just all about personal preference at the end of the day, right? Next up, Honus. Same thing. I. I feel um, he is a better like outfielder or like shortstop um, than first base, but like he's still gonna be a really good card, really solid, and I you know I love Honus cards, so it pains me not to put him in S too, but you know it is what it is. Jordan Walker, now this card actually surprised me. It has a little bit more speed than I was thinking, like I think like an 89 or something like that. Really good arm strength, but I feel like you probably use him more so as like a um, <clears throat> like a D8, like a DH or maybe. Um, can you what can you play? Maybe like a third baseman, more so. Yeah, this card's good. Solid fit, fits corner boost. That's about it. Frank Thomas, another guy. Easy, easy S tier. I love Frank. Now Frank is either hit or miss. I know some people are really hit or miss with Frank, but he's been really great for me. Just been really fun to use. Really solid, and I love Frank cards. Easy S tier. Um, you know, there's a lot of good first basemen like. First base, third base, short, um, and the outfields are going to be really loaded positions. 
So, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of guys that are, like, very good to, like, really, like, elite guys. So, you know, there's going to be a lot. going to be a lot. Owens Butler, really good card. Just the only thing that's, the only thing he would be a if his, like, if he was better against the lefties. Um, that's the only problem, like, you know, 88 and 80s are not really going to do it this year. Um, but, like, he's probably, he's a bench bat at the end of the day. So, B tier. I like his swing. He's really, really good. But, you know, he's got to get better against the lefties, and he'd probably be A. Gunner, Gunner's kind of like, I'll put him B. Because Gunner is like, he's good, but like, just better options at the end of the day. And fit all these boosts, right? And that's going to help him out. And it's got some, you know, good quirks, but I mean, at the end of the day, just better options. Hurler's Delgado. Uh, he. I just think there's, like, he's not, like, I love Delgado, but, like, you know, he, he he's just a solid A tier, you know, just, he's good, but when you compare him to, like, some of these guys, like, he's, you know, not, not quite as good, you know, but really good swing and one of the nastiest, the most disrespectful, no doubt, is in the game, but, yeah, he's a really good card, really good, Johnny Bench, oh, this card sucks, Card sucks. Nothing wrong with a swing. I just suck with Johnny Bench cards, and he's always mid. Like he's one of the best catchers in MLB history, and they I feel like they always do him dirty. I will be honest. You know, if they released him a little bit earlier, I think he'd be really solid, like they did last year. But yeah, there's just better options, you know. Edgar, Edgar's an A tier guy. You know, he's more of a DH. Like he sucks. He sucks fielding, but you know, really good overall. And we talked about him a little bit in the hyper series ranking. If you haven't checked that out, go check it out. Yeah, just really good. Just really solid card. He would be S tier, but you know, just just better options right now. Uh, Bill Foster right now. I did not know this card could play first. I kn- so this is interesting for me. Um, but like, yeah, he's not. You're gonna use him for pitching. So this guy's really not, cons- really not in my opinion. You know, considered you know a hitter. But we'll just we will put him C. Pros Pena, B, like he's good, but just not, just not, just not to these guys level. Cause these guys you can get away with like on a B, C squad, you know, even these guys like S tier, like there's so many good first basemen. So again, I got to pick and choose who you better with, but you know, these guys fit a solid, like, you know, B tier, you know, really good cards, you know, you can definitely use. And it's, I don't think like A tier is like out of the place. Like I wouldn't be surprised if some of these guys are using these guys because some of these guys are really good, but just maybe at a different position. But yeah. Yeah, just really, really, just just a solid card. Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt is like so bad. I swing sucks because he sucks. At the end of the day, Posada. Now Posada, want, I want to put Posada S tier, but I just feel you know right now he is S tier at catcher, hundred percent. Um, but I feel like right now he's just A. He's definitely upper A. I would say like in this like he's. He's in between like S and A, like he's kind of like right in the middle, but I'll just put him A because I feel like, you know, there's so many good options right now that, you know, do you really need him? Maybe if you want a switch hitter in there, but, you know, that's about Harmon is good. Nothing wrong with him. Just, just good. Um, Next up, Freddy just, just got overshadowed. Like there's just better options, you know, but I love Freddy Freeman cards. Braves legend. So just B tier, B. Wade Boggs, same thing. Like just, just, just B tier. Actually, hold on. Yeah, just B. Just good cards. I mean, I just feel like these cards are better. Now that I think about it, um, I'm gonna put Gunner B. Um, just, just, just okay. Just solid. Um, Tony Perez, another card. I feel. Like this card is you know a little just good i mean now nah, we'll put him i don't think he's like i'll put him b just because i feel like he's not on this this level right but he's just still like you're probably not going to use him um but he's just good uh willie i love willie stardew cards like he's been really good really underrated but you know just just better options a lot of b2 guys he's just good you know good first baseman where's 99 to go um but yeah just b tier um next up Jerkson, Jerkson's A. Don't feel like he's, you know, like a first baseman. I feel like, you know, put him in left. I feel like that's where he's better at left field. 
but still really good card you know switch hitter um you know this same thing with posada like you know do we really need him like that's up to you like if you do good with but i just feel you know just use one of these guys uh david ortiz same thing he is a tier like you're not going to use david for his fielding but you know the hitting is really good like that's that's the thing you can use with the bigger poppy card the hitting i mean he's really good matt olsen I'll put him like I'll put him B. He's just another solid card. Um, the only thing is, it's just the contact against left. I mean, there's just better options. Just better options. Um, okay, next up, Adam Dunn. I don't know too much about this guy. I did rank him. I think I ranked him like B. Yeah, really good. Then low. Um, yeah, just solid, solid B tier. A lot of B tier guys. Next up, Martin Dehingo. Um, I would rather feel like he is a better pitcher, but as a hitter, man, he's really good. So I think for just that reason, I'll put him put him A. Like I feel like you know, he's just he's solid all around. Like just good at everything. Just doesn't excel at one thing, you know. Um, I feel like that's with Martin Dehingo. He's just good. Just never excels. Um, Sammy will sell B. Just just good. I mean, just just better options like. Primarily a catcher, but still, just a really, really solid option. Next up, we got Logan Ohapi. Same thing, B tier. Um, and a lot of these guys are going to cross over because, you know, some of these secondary positions. So, but, you know, I'll rank them accordingly to what I like them, you know, better in, you know, just two. I mean, yeah, just solid B tier. Next up, CJ Chrome. It's good. Like, I mean, just just good man i just feel like these guys are more mid than anything and these guys just they're good like you could use them um gary gary's now that the more i think about it gary is you know just just mid like actually no if i don't put yeah okay we'll, we'll put him b if i didn't put like matt or like you know some of these other guys at mid like he's just good jeff bagwell last guy on the team easy ass nah i'm kidding this card's dog He's the, he is, actually, you know what? No. Why are you getting in B tier? He's not B. Stop it, Jeff. Stop it, Jeff. You're not there. Now that I think about it, yeah, these cards are, these cards, like, are dog. Like, they don't even, it's just, it's just so bad. So bad. Um, but, yeah, S tier, guys. Todd, Buck, Josh, Ernie, Babe, Joe, Rafi, Flatty, George, and Frank. Those are the guys I would recommend using. You know, there's so many options, so if you don't do good with one of them, just try another one. Um, but yeah, these guys definitely can use B, you know, solid C. Don't mid, like you probably were not going to ever use them, and then have to just never use, never use these two guys. Um, but yeah, these guys are going to, you know, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you guys. Uh, let me know what else you want to see. Um, like, comment, and subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.